How is everybody doing today? Today we're going to work on adding voice files with lip files to your mod. Now I created a quick quest just to, as I'm going to need, let me open that up. Let's get to where the dialogue is. Now there's a key to this. I released a video a while back and I guess it didn't work for some people and I might have found out why. Because I've been doing this a long time but I haven't had a problem with the voice files at all. So we're going to open up where our voice files we're going to create are. Now, if I was to open this up here, this is going to tell me where these files should be. In data, sound, voice, VTest, VTest ESP, and female note, which is what I plan on doing. Now, if I go to this, where that is, you see it's not there. There is no file for VTest in voice. That is where the problem was becoming. So when people are if they're creating the folder themselves and then adding the voice files in, they won't show up in there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the creation kit to create that folder. So click on, open this back up, go down to here and hit record and just read the line that's in there. Yes, they did. It looks like you did it properly. Hit done. Hit save. Now you see, this is where, if you didn't have that folder where they're originally coming to, you can remove those. But now, if you notice, it created the folder you needed up here. You can remove those first two, open this folder, and female Nord. This is the folder for this voice type because I have the condition set, female Nord, and where it needs to go. That's how we create the proper folder where you're going to put your files. For the, it, it, for the creation kit to read, to put lib files on there. Moving on is the equipment we're going to need to do this, or the programs. One is this program here. This is how I do it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. This is how I do it. Yokotori Audio Converter 1.4. I'm pretty sure this is on Discord. It's free. You Maybe you're using VA Synth from Discord to create the voices. I do not. It's a great program, and I supported him for a long time, and he's doing a great job. But since 11 Labs was released, I've been using that, and I'm going to use 11 Labs to do that. So the Eleven Labs, they have a free trial, I'm pretty sure, but I've had a membership now. I bought the Pro version. And you can, with the Pro version, you can make, I think, 160 voices. Now, the way you, if you get this, there's a lot of tutorials, but to make a voice real quick, go into here, create, add a new voice, and you're going to want to put, it'll ask you for files to put into it. Now, Fallout Mod Manager is what you want to extract the voice files from BSA. There are tutorials everywhere for that, but I'm not going to get into it. Right now, we're going to create the uh, voice files. I'm going to watch how I do it. There's a way... The WAV files, and they have to be WAV files. They don't. You can use different ways to use MP3s, but use WAV files is the easier. This is what I do. So if I go to settings, choose my voice. I've already cloned 40, 50 voices. But hit Nord... Yeah, like that. Now I'm going to pour these voices out. We want to create. Right, and just hit generate speech. Yes, they did. It looks like you did it properly. There you go. So then from here, we got two choices to download. When you download, it's going to be an MP3. If you, I always do an MP3 and convert it with a program called Audacity, which I recommend getting this program and learning how to use it. This is another free program, and you can put multiple files in here and convert them to... It all also allows you to clip parts of the audio out and convert them all to a WAV file if you need to. But if you, don't want, if you want to simply use the program, from here, click on History the history that, that you had. Hit download here and download the WAV file. And then that will be in this box. I created my own folder to download them into. So this will be a WAV file. And the WAV file is already here. Okay, and then from here, take your code here for that file. 
copy it. F2, Control V. Now, doing it, the problem with doing it this way through the history instead of using Audacity is you're going to do one file at a time. If I'm doing 40 or 50 voice files and I want to convert them all, that's what I do. But that's okay. Either way, in 11 Lab, you're still doing one file at a time. It comes out very high quality, and I recommend using it. It's worth the membership, and it's worth at least try it with a free trial. And that this will correct if you want to, if you're doing it, and you like I do, and you make different, uh, I'm not the greatest typer in the world, and it will correct your grammar for you. And I copy and paste what it corrected back in, and then I hit generate speech. Using 11 labs produces a high quality voice for your mods. Now from here, I'm going to download this one in, go to the WAV file, and go back to here, and each one, make sure you tag them right. It's easy sometimes to forget to go tag the files, but if you don't tag them with this code, it's not going to produce a lip file, which we'll do in a moment. I think 11 Labs has a free trial, but if you are creating multiple voice files, the membership is worth the cost. There you go. So I got the pro version, which gives you, I think, a half a million characteristics a month. And it's worth it. Doing Dirty Barn, I've already went through two or three memberships. Probably, it's crazy how much, almost 40,000 lines of dialogue now, I think. But, download, make sure you hit WAV file. If you put an MP3 file in... And just try to get the crazy kit to make a lip file from it. It won't do it. I think that's one of the issues people have a problem with. The WAV file has to be 16-bit. Which is what is downloaded here. But you can convert that. If you use another program. With Audacity. There we go. We got that voice file done. And I'm just, I made this real quick. So after that we can win the game. Test it out. And you can see it work. Just gonna make four files for today. And then Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more tutorials. As I said, this you can clone any voice you want in this, and it's very easy to do. You click on voices, it'll say add a voice. It's very simple, matter of fact to do it. There's nothing fancy about doing this. So there's there's the four files I wanted. So I'm gonna highlight these four. I'm gonna cut them. And then we're going to go back into where the voice files are, which are going to be right here. Back down and find the mod, which this one was VTest ESP. In here, then the ones we had there from before when I recorded the voice thing. Remove those. This should be, and then you're going back. Paste your four files in. Click OK here. And so one, once this is here, I'm going to show you two different ways to add lip files. Once you've got the proper files in there, you, will, you will, this is how you know you got the proper files in. Well, let's go back to where it says Nord. Which is only on the first one. There we go. Here, as you can see, it will say, this is what this means right here. See the Y? It means you get a WAV file. It's got the WAV file there. It doesn't have a lip file yet. So... If you highlight that, generate from WAV file, and hit, whoops, sorry, don't, don't hit OK, my bad. Generate from WAV file, and then generate lip file. And then you'll see the file pop them in here. Now, if, like, sometimes I have 100 voice files in each different folder, because I have, what, 65 voices or 67 voices I'm working with in Dirty Born now. And that, I come down here. There's a much faster way to do this. Close this back down. I'm going to save this real quick. Hit gameplay. Facial animations. And hit yes. Now this will take a bit. Because as this goes through, it goes through every single quest in the game looking for lip files it has to make for other wave files. If there's no other wave files, you don't have to worry about it. And that's it. Once you've got that, if you open your folder up and you watch it, 
as you're going along, you'll see your wait, you'll see your lit files start to pop up. This does take a moment. It will always say not, respo not responding. Just let it run until all your lib files are done. Now with 11 lab, if you do use that, and I highly recommend it, uh, there are so many fluctuations you can make with 11 labs. And this, I'm not going to go into a full tutorial on this. I go to settings. Oh, you have this. You can stabilize it, make it sound more, closer to the voice you uploaded. Then you can change the exaggeration of the words like anger and you can type in stuff she said stop doing that and then a space and then apostrophes kind of like an author does in a book she said sadly and the AI will say it in, in a sad way it's crazy how good this thing is now here come the lip files you can see them foam in the folder so now off to the next step Now the final step. Here, you can file and open. You want to look through your voice files to find your mod. Open that up. So see how see how it only shows three. So at some point, I probably put an MP3 file in. So let me go back here, check. Oh, there's a wave. There we go. There's the MP3 file. So that will give me the chance to show you. So if you have four in there, it shows three. One of them is an MP3. So now we're going to close this out and now you can see how Audacity will work. Close that out. So I take that file and all I'm going to do is export it as a wave and then come into here and find the folder. Come back into voice, back down to where your mod was, open that up, open that up, save. And it didn't overwrite it because it's MP3 to a WAV file. Thank you for. I'm glad I actually made that mistake, so you can see how that how that worked. So what that didn't do either is, as you can see, there's only three lip files. It didn't make the lip file for the MP3. Pretty sure that was the MP3 file. No, that's the WAV file. Let's go. I always change this up here to date modified. Let's go to date modified. There's the MP3 file. Let's remove that. And then let's see which lit file it missed. Thank you for watching. There we go. The last one. I put it as an MP3. So I open this back up. And you can see in here, I'll show you in here as well, how you can see which ones it got and properly. The creation kit actually does a lot for an old machine, for an old program. So if I open this up now, I'm going to scroll down through and find female nod and you look for the yes. It's right there. Yes, lip file, there isn't one. So I'm going to click away there, create the other one. So that's the one I missed. And then go into here. But if you look up into the other part here, the first one, see, there is a lip file and there was a wave file. So we have everything there. So from here, we're all good. I'm just going to close this out. Well, I don't need to close it out. Um, we've already done that with Audacity, but Audacity's got... I'm not doing an Audacity tutorial. It's just get the program if you want to try it. It's very simple. And then from here, I don't want to save that. Let's open back up the audio converter. Make sure this is set to WAV file. And this is just set to the fuzz file. I always put overwrite. In case you wanted to add new ones, you need to go in and remove the old, old ones. It has different options here you can use. Uh, sometimes the same output as a folder, but 
It, no, yes. Always the same output as phone. My bad. So from here, we're going to open this back up. And it should already be... No, it's not. We're going to go back to voices. Back to the mod we're working on. Female Noah. Now it shows four. Then here. Four files added. And convert them. So there you go. And it converts very quickly. So you get back over to here. All the files, files are the only ones you need. Get rid of the rest of them. And it's done. Now we're going to go in, into the game and test it out. So we're in game now. I put this voice type in female Nord, which Holda, we know is a female Nord. Uh, I've done this before and I showed which, if you're not generating lip files, I'm going to fix that. The finest cuts. If you go into the game and it doesn't work suddenly, then you either put the files in the wrong folder or something. Come on in. We've got voice warm file. food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Well met, Traveler. This is a. Uh, if you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. Uploaded and scheduled to release today. If you're watching us from already traveling. I got a few more being released today. Uh, I'm sorry. I got a few more being released yes. this week. Schedules will be released and are already uploaded. Good to see you again. And here we go. Back you here. know what's wrong with Skyrim these so days? See, so you can see everyone is obsessed with death. Yes, they did. It looks like you did it properly. Using Eleven Labs produces a high-quality voice for your mods. I think Eleven Labs has a free trial, but if you are creating multiple voice files, the membership is worth the cost. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more tutorials. All right, guys, appreciate you. Hopefully, this helped.